All right, so it does require me to zoom out just a little bit so that way you guys can see the entire screen. So if we look at number one, it's, it's, all it's wanting you to do is to construct a scatter plot with <coughs> this data that we have. So we're ready to write. All right, so we're simply going to take these values from the table and we're going to plot our points. So my first point is at 100. 182,100. So I'm going to go over to 100 and then I'm going to go up to 182,000. If this is 150,000 and this is 200,000, that would be 175,000. So at 100, we're going to go slightly above that 175 mark. And it's going to let me draw. There we go. Alright, so there we have our first point. Right, the second point, the x coordinate is 100, but the second or the y coordinate is 225,100. So 225,000 is pretty much right on that line. <clears throat> and remember, we're estimating. So if your points are slightly above or below where they actually need to be, that's okay. We're just looking for a generalization. All right. Then the last one, we got 100, 394,000, which would be kind of off the charts here. Because that's 350, this line would be 375, so the next line would be 400,000, so somewhere in that range. Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and plot these points, the rest of them. You say, feel free to go ahead, you don't have to wait on me, you can go ahead and start filling these in on your own. So I'm just going to talk to myself, so 200, 63 would be a little in between 50 and 75, 
And number four is our last example, so I'll let you guys try that one on your own. Double check that middle area.
right, so I want you guys to double check these. I think everybody thought number four was positive, which I agree with that. So give me just a second. Let's get rid of that. Switch over to number four. Okay, so on number four, your scatter plot should look like this, and it's positive, right? Would you guys say that's linear or nonlinear? You'll say they're all increase, like all of the points are e increasing at pretty much the same rate. Even though we have this little area here that where you have some repeat values, the overall trend is still going up at that same rate, and it looks pretty, sh I mean, you don't see any curves. It's all pretty constant. So we would say on this one it's positive and linear. This one's definitely linear. All right, so do you guys think you can try some of these on your own? You know, so, so your assignment is on Cami. And so you can find it, the link, it's due Thursday. And now I can't remember how many problems I actually assigned you all. I only assigned six. Since you had to make the scatter plots, I shortened it. I shortened it from ten to six. Yes. Do you care what color? Surprise me. Green. I like the emerald. All right. So you guys have the rest of the class period to work. And just reminder that if you didn't turn in yesterday's assignment. I would maybe do that one first before you start the scatter plots. All right, and then one other question. When will I start opening responses for your e-learning assignment? What time do I get to school? I actually get here at 745. So I will open it up around in between 745 and 8, you know, because I do have to turn on my computer and log in and stuff. So... Definitely, will ha you will have access to that Google form after 8 o'clock, and then when am I shutting it down? Three. Three. Yes, Lane. I need your of course. I need your phone. Can you take these? I need my phone. I don't have... I, I swear I will find you soon. Yeah, but I don't need... I, I don't have an iPhone. I can't use AirPods. Uh, they're they're not any use to me. You couldn't use my iPhone. Well, then give me the other... Earbuds. The music. One one AirPod's not going to do any good for I'll me. My mask. No. I'll give it back. I'll I'm, I know you will. I'm All just right. messing with you. you All right. Do you guys have any other questions before I turn on my music and let you guys work? <clears throat> All right. All right. And virtual kids, if you have a question, don't forget to call me or email me.